Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Dunkin' Donuts Center. I'd first like to take a moment to thank everyone for attending this press conference this morning, including our distinguished guests up here on the stage, uh, Governor Lincoln Chafee, Mayor of Providence, Angel Tavares, Joe Messino, representing Congressman James Langevin, Speaker of the House, Gordon Fox, Dave Andrews, President and CEO of the American Hockey League, Jeff Fear, CEO of the Providence Bruins, Jim Bennett, Chairman of the Rhode Island Convention Center Authority, Martha Sheridan, President and CEO of the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau, Molly Burt, Assistant Field Marketing Manager for Dunkin' Donuts, which is the presenting sponsor, and local Dunkin' Donuts franchisees in attendance, Joe, Chris, and Cliff Prezeris, Steve Andre, and Guido Petrosinelli. As you know, we're here to make an exciting announcement involving the Providence Bruins, the City of Providence, the State of Rhode Island, and the American Hockey League. I'd first like to do, introduce Dave Andrews, President and CEO of the AHL, who will make the official announcement. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to have the Governor and the Mayor here and representatives of the Convention Center Authority as well. Um, Providence Bruins, as you know, are one of the flagship franchises in the American Hockey League, a model franchise for other teams uh, across North America. Uh, their ownership of Maru Renfro and the management uh, team of Matt Moore and Jeff Deere and their staff are second to none in the AHL. And uh, it is always uh, a very positive experience for us to be in Providence and to be working with them. For those of you who have been around for 20 years or so, uh, in 1995 we uh, took a rather bold step in redefining our league. We were a 15 team league at that time. Uh, and one of the first things that we did was create a showcase all star event selecting a site for that event. We selected Providence uh, to host the first All-Star game in modern history, I guess, in the American Hockey League. Uh, that event was designed to showcase our players, to uh, rebuild our brand, uh, to give us a national TV presence in Canada and the U.S. Uh, looking back on it, it did exactly that. Uh, we sold out the building here. We had uh, national TV coverage on ESPN and TSN in Canada. Uh, it was a first step for us in moving our league forward. Uh, 18 years later, uh, we've had 18 All-Star games, but uh, perhaps more importantly, we now have 30 teams across North America. We have almost 7 million fans attending games each year. Uh, we provide the National Hockey League with 87% uh, of its players. Uh, our league is a much different league than it was 18 years ago. And our thanks go to Providence for helping us kick that off and, and redefine who we were. The All-Star event uh, now has grown over the past 18 years to be something more than it was when we first started. Uh, it includes two on-ice competitions, the All-Star Skills Competition and the All-Star Game, both of them nationally televised and now internationally televised on ESPN International as well, uh, and televised in HD and televised live all across the U.S. and Canada. The fan celebrations surrounding it bring fans from all across our league and obviously from this great hockey region in New England. Uh, on top of that, we have our HL Hall of Fame induction, which has grown to be uh, one of the most important events of our calendar. And our All-Star Classic really has become a sig signature event in the hockey calendar across North America. Over those past 18 years, 93% of the players who competed in our All-Star game have gone on to play in the NHL. Uh, you don't have to look very far to see some of them. Today, on Chara, and it may surprise you to know that he actually played in the AHL. And he played for quite some time as an All-Star. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, uh, Johnny Boychuk who played here, uh, Tuka Rask who played here. Uh, all played in our All-Star event, and if you looked at the NHL All-Star game last uh, last month, about 90% of the guys in the NHL All-Star game were guys who had participated in our All-Star event before that. It's my uh, pleasure to announce today that our board of governors unanimously awarded the 2013 NHL All-Star Classic to Providence. Congratulations. <laughs>
thank Governor Chafee for his continued support of the franchise. I'd also like to thank Mayor Tavares and Chairman of the Rhode Island Convention Center Authority, Jake Bennett, who joined us in Atlantic City and arguably put us over the top to get this bid. An event of this magnitude needs a lot of community support and a lot of stakeholders. Our most important corporate partner is Dunkin' Donuts, and as usual, they stepped up to lead in corporate support. And I'd like to take this time to thank Dunkin' Donuts and their local franchisees, specifically Joe, Chris, Cliff, Perseris, who are always there when we need them and also Guido, Petroselli, and Steve Andrew. Thank you very much. As Dave Andrews mentioned, this is the 20th year of the Providence Bruins here in Providence. And I think most importantly, I want to thank our fans, our sponsors, and the holders. Uh, I think our management group could not think of a better way to culminate the celebration of our 20th year here, and we're very honored to have this wonderful event for them. Thank you. Next, please welcome the Honorable Lincoln Chafee, Governor of Rhode Island.
please welcome Martha Sheridan, President and CEO of the Providence Board Convention and Visitors Bureau. Good morning. Governor Kate, Speaker Fox, Mayor Tavares, I'm so happy to be here on behalf of the Providence Board Convention and Visitors Bureau and the Rhode Island uh, Sports Commission to uh, be a part of this very exciting announcement. And we want to thank the Providence Bruins, and we want to thank the Mayor and Jim Bennett especially for uh, helping to secure this important event for the City of Providence. I'll tell you, I say this often, but since this Mayor has taken uh, uh, office here in Providence, he has been instrumental in securing so many important events for this city. And uh, I'll also say that uh, there is no doubt that as long as Mayor Tavares leads this city, everyone will have fun when they attend the event in Providence. <laughs> he certainly sees to that, so thank you again for that. Um, this event, this hockey event, will precede the NCAA Regional Hockey Tournaments and also uh, combines with some uh, youth hockey events that take place here annually. And all of these events will certainly help to cement Providence's uh, number 10 ranking by Travel and Leisure Magazine as, believe it or not, one of America's uh, most sports crazed cities. So uh, thank you all for helping us cement that uh, reputation here. Uh, this event is also important to us because of the time of year that it will take place. Uh, any event that takes place in February is important to our economy. It's typically a bit of a softer period for the hospitality industry. This event promises to bring close to a thousand room nights to area hotels uh, during its uh, tenure and also will fill our local restaurants, retail stores, etc. Uh, and the event is on a Monday night, so that's a great night. We won't be displacing any other business. We'll be adding new business to the economy when this event takes place. So again, I want to thank everyone who played a role and we look forward to welcoming this important event to Providence. Thank you. Next, please welcome Molly Burt, Assistant Field Marketing Manager for our title sponsor, Dunkin' Donuts. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here as we announce this sponsorship uh, for this great event. Um, just like Dunkin', hockey has been a long-standing tradition in Rhode Island, and hosting the Dunkin' Donuts AHL All-Star Classic will give local residents the opportunity to see the future stars of the NHL right in their own backyard. On behalf of the franchisees in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, we are thrilled to be a part of this event, one that promises to have such a positive impact on our city and the state as a whole. We're excited for 2013. Thanks so much. Save the best for last, please welcome Jim Bennett, Chairman of the Rhode Island Convention Center Authority. I guess I'm supposed to give some sort of comedy routine up here, but uh, I want to recognize just a couple of people. I've got Bernie Bonanno, who's on our board here at the Convention Center Authority. Of Authority. I would be remiss not to introduce uh, the founder of the Rhode Island Ranch Heritage Society, Buster Clay, who I saw out of the corner of my eye. Where is Buster? Stand up, Buster, just to, to say hello. The foundation of why we're all here started way back in the little period. The Rhode Island Reds, as many people know here. Uh, I, I just, a couple of words, because it's we've had enough, uh, um, enough speakers, and uh, Speaker Fox, I said, don't worry, Speaker, you don't have to speak today. He said, good, you've got enough speakers up there. So uh, I'm glad that you were able to attend as, as well as the governor, the mayor, the Dave, etc. Um, I, just because I'm a hockey person, uh, people, a reporter asked me, you know, this is hockey, this is not about hockey. Uh, I also have a dual role as director of economic development for the city of Providence. I'm a former business person. This is about business. This is about commerce. This is about beds and heads and putting people in restaurants. There's nothing more important than a four-day event in the middle of winter of the winter for all the restaurants that uh, that fill this uh, fill the city that have come to the city. I'd like to thank uh, Governor Chafee. I've known him forever. Uh, he also has been fortunate enough to go on a couple of sales calls with the governor, um, and he uh, his eyes twinkle when we talk about economic development. It's one of the things he's most inclined. In fact, our company uh, settled the war. He's the mayor of the 
because he was so pro business. So um, he loves to make sales calls. And we're going to make some more. Uh, of course, Mayor Tavares, great story. Uh, I, I, before I came to work for the mayor, I, I really didn't know him. Uh, but when, when you get to know him, you find out he's one of the more impressive people that you meet in life. Forget about the politics. When I asked him to go to Atlantic City, um, I think it would be a, you know, help us get over the top. And also, I see Paul McDonald, he's stuck in our, our, our commission. <laughs> so the mayor gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning. He just had a new baby. He's probably up anyways. <laughs> but he drove all the way down to Atlantic City. Made a tremendous speech to the 30 owners. Now remember, these are all over North America. Um, we didn't know at that time that they were going to award it at that time. So of course I show up without a change of clothes. I just had my clothes on. The mayor drove all the way back that day. Uh, I had to find a cheap place to buy some clothes to stay for a couple of days. But uh, we were so happy and pleased that they were able to select Providence. And uh, I really think, and you know, meeting several of the owners after the fact that the mayor came down and put the effort in, I think is one of the reasons why we got this. And uh, it's great economic development, as we all know. Sure. That's sucking up enough. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can see just the optics have changed. The optics uh, of the state and the city uh, were open for business. These are leaders that believe in face man. They believe in not Skyping, not even getting in front of the customer, talking face to face. It's very, very important. It's sincere. And that's how uh, business is, is, is done. Uh, I think it will continue always to be done. It's maybe a little bit old fashioned, but. I think it's been pretty successful so far. Um, I'd like to also like to thank uh, Martha from the CBB. They do an amazing job. Uh, now, that, now that we've got this, I, mean, I know it's in good hands. Uh, we also have the NCAA Hockey uh, Championships coming up right after that. So we uh, really will be working on, on, on uh, all cylinders. Now the Providence Bruins has <clears throat> been a great uh, relationship getting to work with Matt Moore, Jeff Fear, their owner came down from Marlboro, uh, Mr. LaRue, uh, LaRue, Hockey Coach. I'll, I'll get that name sort of later. LaRue has been great. Uh, we spent about a half an hour talking to him. He's from Louisiana. He's from Louisiana, moved to California, moved to Boston in the Bobby Oye years, became, fell in love with hockey has the biggest hockey facility out in Marlboro, Mass, where they have six rinks. Uh, I spent a lot of time there with my kids, so I got to know it quite well, so thank you for coming down. Uh, it's been great. Um, I'd also like to thank, we've got a great staff here at the Convention Center Authority, uh, starting with our executive director, uh, Jim McCarville. Uh, he's been in this business, grew up in this business since uh, his father was in this business. He knows this business better than anybody. We're very fortunate to have him here in Providence. Larry Lepore runs the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Uh, Larry's here, he's been running, uh, I just had the opportunity uh, just to show you how savvy Larry is. I was in Los Angeles with Larry on business and uh, he's dining with Paula Abdul while I'm uh, out looking at the Long Beach port. So Larry uh, definitely knows uh, how to get things done. Uh, and lastly, I'd like to thank uh, Dunkin' Donuts, A, for being our sponsor, for providing a great product. We look forward to working with you in this project, and uh, I want to make this happen more, not just in hockey. We need more concerts. We need, need more conventions. Uh, when, I, when, when Rascal Flats was here last week, this city spun. Parking, restaurants, it's great uh, economic development. And I think that the, the, the key thing that you brought up, Dave, was that this event, this event is going to be televised internationally. Europe, people are going to see Providence. Providence, Rhode Island, the uh, finest place in the holiest coast to, to, uh, to dine. The number one city in the country as far as acquiring capital, the lowest cost of capital is here in Providence. I better get off and start talking about all sorts of stuff. Uh, we are going to be visible. We're going to put our best foot forward. We're going to do a water fire. We're going to stand on our heads. We're going to make the uh, people of the AHL proud. I can't, look, I can't wait for it to happen, and I look forward to seeing all of you then. Thank you very much.